Good day everyone. Uh, today I want to show you a new Linux distro that I'm testing right now called HybridX3 from Paul Turner in the UK. And it's a great uh, operating system, so let's get into it. Hey folks, uh, Dan Calloway here, and uh, I'm in my uh, Hybrid X3. I'm launching it now as a VM, um, running it in the Oracle VirtualBox, and so it uh, boots up. I'm allocating three gigs of RAM here and 32 gig gigabytes of the hard drive, so it's a um, you know it's not using a lot of space, uh, not taking a lot of resources actually, uh, but you, as you'll see, it performs like it's on installed on bare metal, uh, but I've got it as a VM. Alright, so it's coming up right now, and um, it actually came up to 1920 by 1080 resolution, which is really nice, without having to worry about uh, the tools. Okay, so here it is. Here's Hybrid X3 Linux from Paul Reynolds, uh, from Paul Turner, rather, in the UK, and um, looks pretty good. Go ahead and take a look at what we got here. Uh, we've got console, file manager, that's the start menu. Um, we're looking at uh, some things over here on the right, which is your typical stuff. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm impressed so far with this uh, operating system, uh, how responsive it is. Um, I mean, it just clicks right along, everything opens up quickly, as you can see. Here's your video or audio uh, controls and your time, date, that kind of thing. All right, so let me come on over and open up the menu here. And uh, as you can see, we're looking at the menu. This is a screenshot. I'm not going to launch it, but uh, got that. Comes with it. Uh, this is the graphics, uh, Gwynview and Krita. Let's take a look at Krita. Now I haven't added anything to this operating system. This this is out of the box, so this all of this came with it. Uh, I'm really impressed with it, actually. Uh, all the stuff that came packaged with it. Krita I haven't really gotten used to yet. I've used GIMP most of the time, but Krita is another one of those uh, image manipulation programs. I'm going to open up a file and um, got stored here. So this is what it looks like. It looks pretty nice. Um, and you can, um, you know, resize, crop, everything you want to do in Krita just like you do in GIMP if you're familiar with it. Alright, so let's let's take a look at some other things here. Um, Alright, let's go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and launch um, FileZilla. Uh, by the way, I've got Bandicam.com logo at the top. I'm also test driving a new video capturing software, so until I see that it's going to be good for me, I'm not going to buy it. So it's it's bringing me up to that bandycamp.com. All right, so I'm in my uh, personal cloud, and I'm going to the public side, to the pictures. And I'm going to go back to the local here machine, and which is Android OS Linux. And, uh, but actually, I'm in Hybrid X3. Uh, so um, I'm going to tell it to place that folder in the pictures folder. So I copied the bridges folder with all the files in it and just drag and drop it into the local window and it copied it right to the pictures folder in Hybrid X3 Linux. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this here uh, in FileZilla. Let's go back to the menu again. Um, first of all, let's open up the home directory and verify that we have those files there. And there they are. Uh, so it copied it down in short order. I'm really happy with the way this operating system responds. You see how quickly everything comes up and closes and opens. No sluggishness at all. All right, so let's go to the internet and um, let's open up uh, the file browser here. I think we've got Firefox installed. And uh, we'll see what version came with um, 
came with Hybrid X3 the, from Paul Turner. And uh, so I'll go out here to help Firefox or about Firefox. And yeah, we got Firefox Quantum 61.0.1, so that's a pretty late version, so that's really cool. That's nice. All right, we'll close the browser. Let's go back. Let's go to the internet again. Come down. You got Thunderbird. I'm not going to launch that. Multimedia. Here's Audacity, which is a program I use to record audio, which I'm doing now. And um, go ahead and close this window so it doesn't come up again. And you can play audio files here in Audacity. You can create uh, voiceovers and things like that. This is what I'm doing for this video. I did the video first, then I did a voiceover for it. This is what I'm doing now. And so you can just play this. You can't hear the audio, though I turned it off. But um, nice little analyzer and do lots of things with, uh, with this particular application. All right, so let's go back to the menu again. And back to multimedia and let's take a look at uh, some other things here um, there's Spotify here's VLC media player let's go ahead and fire that up and uh, I love VLC media player it's a great media player for playing video so let's open a let's open a video here and I'll just play a small section of that video it's an earlier video that I did in uh, hybrid x3 um, but plays really well, so no hassles, no problem with codecs or FFmpeg or anything like that. All right, so in Office, it has the full Office LibreOffice Suite 6, which I'm really happy with. Uh, I prefer LibreOffice over anything else, including Microsoft Office. So here we're looking at uh, LibreOffice Writer 6.0, and uh, so far so good. Um, as you can see, um, it's going to make this a title style to show you that uh, you know it looks just like Microsoft Office as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to save it. Go ahead and get out of it. All right, so let's go back into, um, let's go to settings and take a look at that. Now this is the settings for the system here. And you've got a bunch of stuff in personal and hardware, uh, system and other. Um, and... Um, here we're in the workspaces. I'm going to click on four workspaces and go ahead and close that. And let's well, let's get back into settings again. I meant to keep it open. And um, <clears throat> so I'll maximize it one more time here. Uh, let's go down into the hardware section. You've got uh, disks and display and other things. Um, so let's open up the printer. And there's my printer out on the network. Um, it uh, automatically detected it. Hybrid X3 did. It's a great operating system. Like I said, uh, let's go up to display and I'll show you that it came up to the 1920 by 1080 widescreen resolution. Well, I was real happy. Didn't have to worry about installing the Oracle VirtualBox tools. All right, so it's also got Etcher uh, for creating bootable USBs. That's my preferred app for that utility. Uh, here's a whole host of other things that it's got available under hardware and system and then other as well. So this is a, a nice little section for settings. Um, let's go down to software center and the software center I'll maximize that. This is where all the software control is where you can uh, uh, look for software, add software to the system, uh, there's a search capability here as well. Uh, it uh, is sorted by top rated right now. You can sort it by category as well. Um, and Or you can just sort it by name if you like. Alright, so you can add their applications here within this window. Um, or you can look at another uh, application as well for installing software in the system called Synaptic Package Manager. So let's go to that. And that's under um, Software Synaptic Package Manager. I have to enter my credentials because it's required for uh, running this application. And uh, you bring this up. 
uh, any piece of software that you want to install, you just put it in the window uh, and sort for it, and search for it rather. So this GFTP is what I'm looking for. I'm going to mark it for installation by right-clicking and marking. Here are some dependencies that are required, and I'm highlighting those. And then I'm just going to apply, so it's going to install GFTP and all dependencies needed. And then when that's completed, I'm going to go out on the menu uh, list and grab it, drag it to the desktop, um, like I did any other software that I have. And so let's close that, and now let's go back out and. Uh, okay, so I uh, I'm in now the terminal, and. Um, I'm going to enter my credentials there, and I'm doing an update now of the system. And just make sure it's updated. All right, now I'm going to do a sudo apt upgrade to upgrade uh, those things that it found after it updated the repositories. This is um, a nice uh, operating system as well for this kind of thing in the terminal. Uh, and by the way, Hybrid X3 uh, from Paul Turner, as I mentioned, is based on, uh, uh, I believe, Kubuntu 1804 Linux. But he's done a lot of things with this, uh, this uh, distro that he's created. Um, and he's done a marvelous job as far as I'm concerned. I'm very impressed with, with this operating system. It's very impressive. Um, it could be my daily driver, as a matter of fact. Uh, if I weren't using Antrodos Linux now on the laptop, I wouldn't have a problem putting Hybrid X3 on that laptop uh, because it's just a wonderful distro uh, that he's created. A lot of capability, very very responsive, as I said. It's almost like using Windows 10 if you're uh, familiar with uh, using Windows 10 all the time or comfortable with that. All right, so now that I'm done there, I'm going to get out of it and. Um, we do a U name A so we can look and see what kernel version we're using. We're using 4.15.0.3 generic. I'll do a U name uh, TAC R that'll just get the kernel version itself listed out. Uh, and so that's a pretty late kernel version. I do an IF config, shows me what the IP address here is on this machine 192.168.195 acquired by DHCP. Now see, let's look at the SSH response, uh, responsiveness here. If I do an SSH into my root account of my my cloud, personal cloud, put in the password, I'm in. Uh, very responsive uh, to SSH commands. Uh, very impressed, as I said. Nice operating system. All right, so I'm going to go out to the public side of that personal cloud to share pictures. And I'm going to list those out, and you can see there's where I got the bridges folder, um, second from the top. I'm going to go ahead and exit and get out of it. And um, and now I'm going to log out and shut down the system. And this 